How would you guys define socialist? What would make somebody a socialist? Mm, Public ownership of the means of production. Yeah, so so yeah, communism is like worker ownership over the means of production, and then how socialism is different from communism changes based on who you're talking to. Some say that like social. I, I think as a general rule, when you look at how they've operated in the world, communism usually happens because of like some revolution or state takeover, and socialism is usually voted in, but that's not actually definitive. Well, they um, <clears throat> some some say socialism is economic and communism is political. Yeah, well, people say communism encompasses everything, right? So yeah. even your culture becomes modified by it, where socialism just refers to econ. Uh, but there are a bunch of different ways people define it, and I've heard it defined even by official sources multiple different ways. So, so like it's, every communist state is socialist, but every socialist state is not necessarily communist? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. What would that be like state ownership is communist, but if it's just state... Communism is, is typically characterized by a, a single party controlling everything in, in like an authoritarian, authoritarian mean. Mm-hmm. And gulagging people disappearing people socialism is where the people own everything socialism can actually the, it, socialism is interesting because there's like a threshold for it right if you're looking at a a spectrum you could argue america's a capitalist country right yeah except half of our half of our money is taxed and goes to the public so actually the united states is not a capitalist economy it's a mixed economy at a certain point you can call it socialist or capitalist what's that line up to you maybe 70 percent if 70% of your income is kept by you and 30% goes to the public, that's the threshold for being a capitalist country. Anything from 70 up to 100 of the money you keep is capitalist. And then anything in between is mixed. And then 70% taxation and higher is socialist. I don't know. The, to, to be fair, it's not just about government taxation. Yeah. Socialism is basically like the workers own the factory. Communism is like everyone owns everything, but there's actually a military in control and they'll execute you if you disagree. But it, it, it can be it can be a bit uh, uh, vague. The simple thing is socialism is basic economics. The further you go towards the public owning everything is the further you go towards socialism. The further you go towards private ownership, the further you go towards capitalism. Mm -hmm. And capitalism is better. Yeah, of course. Unquestionably. Yeah, I, I think also like just in terms of how the word is usually understood, um, communism has much more baggage associated with it uh, on the cultural question which i think is part of why people associate it with a complete cultural takeover and because that's also what you saw in communist states like the ussr or communist china and so people people will almost view socialism as just sort of a moderate form of communism but that's not really an accurate way of looking at it either we have, we have a lot of people pointing out there already are border checkpoints some saying when you uh gen you generally stop at state borders to pay tolls already mm. So those could easily be modified to stop and check your ID. Other people mentioned that there are way stations and agricultural checkpoints already between states. I'm saying it becomes like country to country effectively. Arizona's dealing with a mass influx of illegal immigrants. Texas is as well. At a certain point, they might just be like, we have to control our borders.